Hey guys, this video is going to be a book review of a Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab, a very well recommended book to me and one of the most hyped books in the fantasy genre for the last couple of years. V.E. Schwab is best known for her book Vicious, which is a mixed fantasy superhero book, as well as her children's and young adult books. Kel is one of the last Antari, blood mages who can travel between different worlds. There are three worlds that are accessible to Kel. Grey London, which is the Regency era in our world. Red London, where Kel was raised alongside the prince and magic has flourished. And White London, where the strong take from the weak and magic fights back against those who would control it. Kel travels between all three cities' rulers with letters, but he also has a smuggling business on the side. And when an errand to White London goes awry and Kel ends up with a piece of Black London, the fourth world that burnt due to magic being too strong, he has to escape to Grey London. There, he meets Delilah Bard, a cutthroat, a uh, would-be pirate, and someone who just really, really, really wants an adventure and will do almost anything to get one. Together, the two of them have to travel throughout all three Londons to put the piece of Black London back where it came from and save all three remaining Londons. I really enjoyed this book. It was really quite fun and it had a lot of cool ideas in it. Lila being a pirate without a ship, the way that magic worked, the hints about character development, it was all just really, really cool. I really found myself liking all of the characters in this book, but especially Lila, who was just brilliant. She had a lot of cool character development and she just, you know, went from being a street rat to being an actual powerful, self-assured pirate captain who was able to mingle with kings and princes with very little awkwardness. She was great and she actually straight up killed a man for trying to rape her, so she's a cool character. <laughs> However, while I liked Kel, I found that he was kind of bland in his character. He had his moments, but it just didn't feel like he had all that much of a character, to be honest. But I feel that this could have been remedied with a little bit more exposition at the start of the book to do with what he was like and just giving him a little something that he was missing. But all that said, I did actually quite like his character. I also would have liked a bit more exposition on what the other three non-grey Londons were like. We got a bit of a taste of Red London and what the rest of its countries are like in, in its world, and we got the smallest snippet of what White London is like, and but not anything about the country around it. And we don't know anything about Black London, but that's obviously intentional. But I would have liked to know more, and I'm hoping that this gets remedied in the sequel. Which I have, it's over there. Additionally, I feel like the intrigue from White London to Red London could have been made a bit better. It just felt a bit clunky and convoluted in just uh, a bit more foreshadowing and a bit less of Athos and Astrid being complete and utter bastard. By the by, it did seem like they were insane, so props to that, but you know, the plan wasn't a very good one. I did like the implications of what Red London was like because like everything was just really cool it had magic just full to the brim and I cannot wait to read the sequel because I'm fairly certain that we're gonna get a lot more of Red London in it and just yeah magic billboards with touchscreens on them just thieving protection wards brilliant Overall, I really did like this book, but it did suffer a bit from some rough edges, such as Kel being rather bland, and a lack of exposition in other ways. But, it was good. Tell me in the comments below what you thought of this book if you've read it. Who was your favourite character, and what was your favourite world? I really liked Lila and Red London, because I'm a sucker for magic and pirates. Just... I'd love to know what you think though, so let me know down below. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you remember to like and share it and subscribe to my channel. Click on the thumbnails down below to see other videos by me, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.